and welcome to my channel I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we are looking at FS19 new mods for farming simulator so let's go to the mod hub and see what we're looking at today so the first one we're looking at today is the Fen 900 favorite Vario by Smetty and it looks like we've got an upgrades on wheel brands wheel body colors rim colors exhaust covers loads of different stuff 1993 to 1999 that one was I like those tractors pretty pretty cool and then we have the new Holland T7 by Lucas2002 and Danny86 and that comes with tire configurations blue power Fiat edition green extra edition no beacon light beacon light left right beacon light left and right all right that's cool and then we have the German chicken coop by Moogs Moose Agri Agra this is a German chicken coop for your farm grain can be refilled in the front of the wire fence egg boxes are spawned inside the coop on the ground okay we'll have a look at that one then there is the lizard 3406 now this is by Puzz Cap Mat 26 and it's a small little cultivator by the looks of it two and a half meters wide and then we go on to pig husbandry by Mifi fs pig husbandry in modern european style capacity 50 pigs all right then we have a brick warehouse by caras a brick area with a metal roof structure dimension 16 by 32 has two sliding gates and you can sprinkle grain on the walls okay in addition it has two lights switched on one inside the building and the other outside okay another new place of all and then we have the sin track there's an update for that now i haven't even looked at this because i haven't done a mod review on this yet but it says it's added a for new tank uh, available in three different designs added the Sintrack cargo transfer standard adapter cargo transfer and the dis add display for support adapter okay and then we also have another new mod which is the shovel mc by nico pixis and this is for the manitou i take it then yep shovel for the manitou cool because i did wonder why we didn't have one for it and the agri liner has had an update had an update on friday and this is dischargeables fixed so obviously there was a problem with the auger and then we have an update for the field um, edge field roller and they have added an extra one in there a six meter one changed to single item in the shop which is a bit better and updated the mod for more languages remaking the whole 3d project okay and that's your lot for today right so let's do a first look mod review for FS19 and first off we're gonna look at these tractors these are pretty awesome nice bit of kit I do like the this one was 1990s and pretty nice do like them the favorite the 900 favorite by Fend and this one we got chrome wheels got chrome wheels on it can you believe it awesome now overall it's a cracking cracking mod really is I do like uh, the detail on it it's pretty 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 amazing look at all that in there it looks proper job really does now the fend will cost you 250,000 pounds and it's 1100 and seven eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty five pounds and it's minus 22 on your slot count now it has got a 31 mile an hour and it has got quite a few different options for it where you can remove you can just have a weight on the front and no front attacher I'll tell you what let's go to the shop so there it is there the 900 favorite and rim colors we've got all these different rim colors where you got the chromes but the chromes are eight grand that's crazy in there the no other ones are four grand it's uh, the cost of some of these colors is ridiculous I'll show you that on the, one of the other mods it's, it's a bit crazy on that one now these colors they're still extra money as well where they're eight grand for the main color but you can see we've got quite a few different color combinations because a lot of these you just get two two or three and that's your lot and of course we can have the black do like that in the black and then you've got the design color 
is well on the exhaust where's that well it probably doesn't look that well because it's in black let's put it in white yep so you can have black exhaust or chrome exhaust and of course you're not going to see that because it doesn't show up chrome very well here and then we've got trial bulbs I'll tell you what these menus still need sorting out you've got to go up and down and you've got trial bulbs knock-ins on these and there are extra options on them we've got the twin wheels which on the chromes you still get the twin wheels on them and then all your normal options then we've got rear mud guards forest superstructure now I meant to put that on earlier because that is pretty cool I like that and then you can have rear mug guards or no rear mug guards and the same for front fender on or off and then it's that's the weight I was saying you can have the 1600 kilo weight on the front well let's get the camera around or you can have a front attacher and then engine setup we've just got three different engine no there's four actually you start off with a 916 and then it's the 11 500 200 horsepower then 240 horsepower and 260 horsepower is the the big one and then front loader attacher is an extra 1500 quid so going inside started up and we've got everything on the dash there which is always nice I like the way those lights came on and came back off again like the ignition lights do turn it off fire it up and then they go off again like like that pretty nice we've got some pedal action going on as well and mirrors work okay no issues with that now the turning radius on it isn't that great but you do find that on some of these tractors you could probably get a little bit I suppose you're nearly touching there But nice bit of kit I really do like that I like these old school ones well not really that old school you are if you're as old as me now lighting wise so we've got three stages and then the beacons as well and then indicators and the same on the back well, we've got three stages there yeah but I've had a little run around with this one and uh, it goes all right I do like the sound of them as well the way it whirs up good brakes nice mod I put the help window on and I couldn't find anything what opened or anything like that on that one but there it is defend favorite 900 right so going on the next one we got is the new holland t7 now like this one didn't realize they did it in a red it's the fiat red i think it is we go in the shop and i'll show you all the different colors and that in a moment it costs the same as the other one 240,000 pounds to buy and then initial leasing cost of 12,240 pounds and then we've got the engine upgrade up to the 313 horsepower which costs you extra twelve and a half thousand pounds minus 22 slots but we have got a few features overall it looks pretty nice I like the um, number plate on the top there and we've also got them on the back there as well up high but cracking mod do like the uh, New Holland's nice tractors now I've got it pulling what 47,000 of manure earlier and didn't have any issues with it whatsoever a nice looking bit of kit I, did, I think it's just because of that red it sort of really stands out where you never see a new Holland red do you ever so going inside then and yeah it looks all pretty nice I didn't compare it to the other one actually so it could even be pretty much the same but you can have options for the different colors on the seats let's go into the shop there it is there the t7 series mod and rim colors so we've got all the different colors you want for those 
and they're going to cost you 250 quid and then the main colors we've just got these five different colors with that red i like that and that green's pretty nice as well and then we've got the blue power well the dark blue and then the normal new holland blue as well and then the black and then design color you can have that in white and that's just the the grill basically on it we can have that white fiat or black if you want it so going on with then we've got the trail bogs and we've got standard and wheels all the normal stuff we've got and we've also got mitus as well which has got i think it was um come on let's get back on it wide tires wide tires and weights and it has got the twins on the mitus because these mitus are huge and then the design it says special version well that's we go inside i'll tell you what this camera being inverted it's such a pain in the ass and you see we change the color you can have standard special version blue power just like that for 750 quid you can have a beacon light or beacon light right or beacon light left and right and then there's the engine options where we start off with the 288 horsepower and then we have the 313 horsepower but nice tractor always nice to have a bit of customization on a tractor can't go wrong now we have got door opening capabilities on the right stick for opening that door like that left and right and then up and down we open the back window up as well oh pretty cool I like that nice mod close that down lovely jobs are good and nice bit of kit right moving on here we have the lizard 3.406 cultivator which is a proper bit of old school kit now this one will cost you three thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds to buy and your initial leasing costs are 201 pounds you can change all the different colors and this is what i can't believe it's 1500 quid to change the color now it's 3950 pound to buy so why is it cost so much for the color choice on it but the color choice is there if you want it you do need a whopping bit of horsepower for this where it's 25 horsepower for that two and a half meter wide cultivator and yeah it's a cultivator we go and see what sort of animation it does let's go and get the fabric right so let's drop that down and see how we go we've got a bit of a dust storm going on there get the work on the go and it's all working all right i just couldn't use this myself couldn't do two and a half meters that's just uh that's just crazy it all works does what it says it does it's a cultivator two and a half meters jobs are good and right next mod is the shovel mc and i didn't click when i seen this in mods and testing i was like what the hell is mc and of course the forklift is mc so the shovel mc is three thousand six hundred pounds to buy it just goes straight on the front of your you you don't have to put the forks on this one because i've got the modded one i'm not sure if it goes on the other one but i just brought this one out anyhow and it is 183 on your initial leasing cost and the color changing that you can have all the colors is 500 pounds so quite a bit of money minus two on the slot count and will hold 2500 liters right so let's get this hooked up and this one you do have the forks too so you don't need the forks for it you just clip straight on and then obviously we've got the normal tilt and then we go up and down and then the extra controls on this where we can basically tilt it tilt it down just like that 
then we want to pick anything up we can put it down on the on the deck and away we go come up a little bit maybe yep and I've got some piles of I think this is wheat no and it doesn't want to pick that up perhaps that's because hang on then drop it down a little bit put that flat I have picked stuff up with it earlier no it's a bit of barley so we'll tip that into there I doubt it's going to need it or it might not even no trip no triggers come up for that this action cannot be full formed here okay so it didn't work on that well on that trigger but it does come out I tried this earlier just like that so yeah pretty useful if you like using the four lifts I don't really use them that much I should do and then tilt that back up and then down it comes just like that nice useful mod right moving on moving on so then we have the German chicken coop and this is £20,000 to buy and is minus 15 on your slot count and it will hold 70 chickens £10 a day maintenance so this is our food we drop that off into there and then our eggs should be appearing here now this is our, our buy point as well now it did say the eggs are inside in boxes and I thought okay well that's not very clever because if we're not going to be able to put a pallet or anything in there but I haven't seen any eggs with we'll fast forward time in a moment but it looks nice doesn't it nice little shed with it done a good job so moving on to the next one I'll fast forward time let's just fast forward time now right so we fast forward time and no eggs anywhere I can't see any eggs I'm sure it did say they were they were inside but uh, anyway I can't see any eggs anywhere can you so I'm not spending any more time on it stuff like this really gets annoying because you could I could stay here for another 10 minutes and it's like well hang on let's go in I filled filled it up so they had a plenty of food they've had that much food and there's no eggs being generated so let me know if you've managed to get that working put it in the comments for me that'd be much appreciated right over to the next one which is the pig enclosure or pig husbandry same thing again why do they call it one thing in mods and testing and everything else and then when it comes out they call it something else it's quite, why can't you just call it the same bloody thing if it's a pig enclosure say it's a pig enclosure not a pig enclosure and then a pig husbandry what the hell's going on anyway that's enough griping going round the back here we have our manure point and then our slurry pickup is just there and then we haven't got any doors but we've just got windows looking into the, into the pen itself now the pen is completely open we've got doors on the sides here just like that and then we got a light switch no I think the light switch was rained there because that was a yeah it's not a light switch well it's not working as a light switch and then we go in this is the animal dialogue which is that one there and then this is our straw point which is just there so you've got plenty of room nothing getting in their way so water drop that off straight into there so that's quite easy and same with that with the grate this doesn't open or anything oh it does it does come out open gate I tipped in there without having to open that though unless it does it automatically I didn't notice but that is the pig enclosure or pig husbandry 50 grand to buy minus 21 on your slot count 
holds 50 pigs easy as that right moving on to the last one which is another placeable which is the brick warehouse and it's a fair decent size at least the doors are as high as the side of the building you know that you're gonna get maximum in there now these doors the noise on them bit rickety and a little bit slow but that's just me I just like it to be whizzing in and whizzing out so we got lights there and you see it's a decent size and you can use this for storage of crops as well apparently so it said but overall it looks pretty nice nice done a good job made of bricks brick warehouse now there is also a light switch right in the back here Whoa, where is it there it is there and we've got a light up there and we've got a light on that side there so if you're going to place it there's no lights on the back or on the other side so bear that in mind because it's only got those two lights there but overall pretty nice and we got a wheelbarrow if you want a wheelbarrow for a let's play we got one just there and a hose reel look at that pretty cool and a compressor it's all there if you want it it's there for the taking but overall done a nice job right out well that's it for today's fs19 mods we do a first look mod review of mods what have came out in the mod hub update today for farming simulator i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did i always appreciate if you smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel why not go and check out one of my farming simulator 19 videos i've got coming up for 600 now it's just under it's about three uh, sorry three it's about 580 something like that there's a there's a load load going on thanks for watching and i will see you next time Thank you.